Hey folks, today we're going to be going over some of the hardest hit areas in the cyclical disaster and where we expect the next area that will be hardest hit will be uh, in the coming few years to maybe two decades at most when the cycle resets once again. Before we get to that, however, I wanna go over something about lightning and ozone that we're seeing. Getting tons of comments on the latest video which talked about the ozone destruction with Earth's weakening magnetic field, greater particle precipitation from space destroying the ozone, uh, but also triggering of massive amounts of lightning due to the increase in cosmic rays. And there are some comments that are, uh, some are attempting to be helpful and informative, others attempting to be a little bit of a smart aleck, saying, well, hey, wait, I heard lightning creates ozone, so therefore your whole idea is flawed. So lightning creates ozone in the lower levels of the atmosphere, maybe at the highest level possible, the tropopause, mostly in the troposphere and down here at ground level. That is not the same as the ozone layer, which is destroyed by major solar storms. As we saw in this paper just a couple of days ago, that upper layer can be degraded up to 80% in a major geomagnetic storm event. And that is before they even consider what it's going to be like when Earth is way down in the magnetic field, when the magnetic pole shift is nearing completion. The ozone layer could be temporarily completely wiped away by a major solar storm event. As for what the lightning does down here, it's less than a hundredth of 1%. So 1% of 1%, it's actually less than that how much ozone it creates. We're not talking about the same thing at all here. But now let's get to the big, the, the, the big point of today's video. Which areas are hardest hit now? The best information comes from Channel and Viglioti 2019 and the citations therein. Uh, you can find this information in a lot of others and it's based on the magnitude and the, the number of extinct species that were discovered during that time period, during that cyclical disaster in that area of the world. And as you can see, as many of you know, the last time the Americas got hit hardest, uh, before that it was Africa and Europe, before that it was far Eastern Europe and Asia, and um, before that it was Australia, and then maybe the far Western, or I'm sorry, far Eastern parts of Asia as well, places like Japan, Philippines. Um, these are not the only places that take damage during these events, don't forget, global volcanic activity goes nuts, there's continent-sized tsunamis, there's climate shifts of dramatic proportions, and in fact, there is a secondary locus of terrible effects where the flash happens. These areas right here are where the micronova shell impact is actually hitting the earth. That is the area that takes it worse every time. And so based on this, we can see how it's kind of ticking around the world. And uh, the evidence isn't quite as good as you go back to 60,000, 72, 84, 96. Um, it's not as robust, but it's still there that it is ticking around the world very much like this. And so let's show this on a map here. And it's the same color codes with uh, the one the four cycles ago uh, hitting Australia and the far eastern parts of Asia the worst. Three cycles ago, it was Asia and the far eastern parts of Africa. This would include India as well. Before that, it was mostly uh, damaging to Africa and um, Africa and Europe, and I'm sorry, I said before that, that would be the second one, so that would be after that. And then, of course, the last one was most damaging to North America. Now, you might be asking yourself, shouldn't there be um, massive impacts at some of the polar region areas as well? Yes, of course, but there's not exactly a whole lot of extinction and fossil studies down there, uh, and so we don't really have that much information. Now, I'm going to throw another oval on here for where the next one should be based on it ticking around the world and as you can see it almost overlaps with the blue oval for all i know it should completely overlap with the blue oval maybe i just didn't draw the ovals uh perfectly enough but it does appear to be going in a circle around the world uh completing every five cycles you know we've had those four and then the fifth one will go back to where it was before and that is pretty much what we are expecting again, we're going to add one more uh, oval to this actually to show where we expect the Micronova flash to hit. Uh, that should be over Europe and Africa. Um, 
This is not as bad as the Micronova shell impact, but it is of course pretty bad. And for those in the United States, specifically on the West Coast, the fact that the shell impact is supposed to hit in the Pacific, this is one of the reasons why even though with the tilt and the pattern of global tsunamis switching every time, it should be the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico mostly attacking in terms of the United States, in terms of the Eastern seaboard of Canada. When you have the micro Nova shell hitting and doing the most damage on the Pacific, that's where you're gonna get the arc discharge. That's where you're gonna get most of the impactors. And so we should be expecting not only tremendous earthquake activity, um, are all around the Ring of Fire, but we should expect some Titanic tsunami. So being on the West Coast, uh, probably not the best idea overall. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. I will see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.